Uh, Dr. Darian joins us now. He's standing. Mm -hmm. He's going to answer one of the questions from one of you. This one from Jeffrey M. How do I know if my blood pressure is normal? Such an important question. So first, before, I want to take your blood pressure as, as an example, DeMarco. Okay. I'm going to do that in a second. But first, I want to show you some graphics to help you understand what numbers to pay attention to. Our blood pressure is so important. That's how much pressure is exerted on our heart, our brain, and an uncontrolled, elevated blood pressure can increase our risk of heart attacks and strokes. So just know what the normals are. We all can uh, probably remember an elevated blood pressure. I would say normal is around 120. When we start stepping into the 130s is when we start considering high blood pressure, but it's important to realize that there are many things in your day mm -hmm. and in that current experience while you're getting your blood pressure checked that can change that number. So, DeMarco, if you don't mind, you're going to serve as my example patient here. Okay. And so you're doing some of the basic things that I always tell patients to do. You are sitting comfortably, your legs are supported, your back is supported, and your arm is resting. And so okay. that's what we'll start with. What's not perfect is that you're wearing your sleeve but it's thin enough that we can probably still take your blood pressure. And I also had coffee this morning. Too. And you also had coffee this morning, which is an important question to ask. Because and you drank a lot of water. And you drank a lot of water. And thanks for bringing All that up, Eva. Things. Because a full bladder can increase your blood pressure by 10 to 15 points. I had no clue. Which is why it's so important to use the bathroom before you take your blood pressure. Avoid uh, caffeine. And it's really difficult for you. Avoid talking. So what we're going to do <laughs> is we, That's hard. we've got an automated blood pressure cuff here. Oh. And you might feel that squeezing sensation. And again, this is in a setting that is on television. Uh, you're talking to uh, one of well, your he's friends, not talking right now. one of your enemies, <laughs> and you're also sitting on a seat with clothes on. So it's not the perfect way to measure it, but it's also a helpful way, I think, in general to know what to do. Mm -hmm. You feel that pressure cuff getting tighter. It's basically trying to figure out where that top number is. And once it gets past that top number, then you'll feel it kind of decrease and settle down. This can be painful and uncomfortable, but just remember it is a temporary experience. But I also understand that this causes stress in and of itself. So your blood pressure is coming up. It's slightly elevated, but mm -hmm. still in the okay range. And we checked it this morning, just so everyone knows. His blood pressure, while he was comfortable with his scented candles in his office, were normal. Today it's slightly elevated, but still that's an important number to, I mean, to keep America's mind I mean, America's only watching, so that's what I'm nervous, you know? <laughs> well, and you have a full bladder. And you have and a full bladder. bladder. And, and tight pants no can make your blood legs, pressure right? up, too. Yeah. <laughs> so you want to make sure. I love you, too. Man. Always here. Always here. <laughs> <laughs> For those of us who are trying to maintain healthy blood yeah. pressure, like DeMarco mm -hmm. and myself, like what can you do to make sure your blood pressure is good? Mm -hmm. It's so important that you talk about that because the work starts in the kitchen with our diet. We want to make sure that we're getting whole grains, we're getting nuts and, and vegetables, and making sure that we're limiting saturated fat, added sugar, and alcohol. Again, the work is in the kitchen. That's where you want to start to control your blood pressure. Sleep is so important. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we see studies that if you get limited sleep, which is, I'm talking to the people, the culprits here, uh -huh. limited sleep, unfortunately, Unfortunately, persistent limited sleep under six hours can increase your blood pressure. That's why you want to make sure that you're getting up or, excuse me, going to sleep at the appropriate time. Sleep apnea is one of those causes for uncontrolled high blood pressure, so get that tested. And then minding your stress and getting physical activity. 30 minutes a day of moderate activity, just simply walking, meditation, mindfulness. These are all ways that we control our blood pressure, but it's important to know that even if you do this for some, it might not work, and that's why we talk about medication. Mm -hmm. The doctor has spoken, mm -hmm. and my supportive friend right here. Yeah. Thank you, Eva. <laughs> I love seeing Dr. Darian as the doctor. Oh, yes. All right, folks, we would love to hear from you, you so right. please hit us up on Instagram with all of your medical questions for Dr. Darian at ABC GMA3. Great job. He's Thank not you. just Thank our you. friend. <laughs>